20 years of groundbreaking competition. That almost hit the ceiling! Entertainment broadcast worldwide. Look at that huge hit! Have turned BattleBots into a global phenomenon. Now, for the first time ever, we'll dive into the greatest moments in the history of robot combat. Oh, my goodness! Robots activate. or less, one flipper will stand alone at the top of the mountain. Will Hydra take it to the legend? Or will Bronco kick the new kid off the block? See if he can do anything. Look at Tyler win. Oh, he's got it going. Nice. Got it going. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not so nice. time the master and the apprentice will alex hattori solidify uppercut as a team to beat this season or will jameson go continue to show that his team is one of the most dominant forces in combat robotics ah the funky 
chicken. Team uppercut, managing to stay loose over there. And to do that, they're going to rely on those long front fork attachments. We saw those work well for them in their last fight, popping up whiplash, win the ground game against Tantrum, win the fight. And for Team Tantrum, what are you looking for, Kenny? Well, this will be their first matchup against a vertical spinner this season. And Cobalt has maybe the most lethal one we've seen all year. This will be a big test for driver Dylan Carey to avoid taking a hit head on. You got this, Dylan. There's nothing like the energy on championship night. Which one of these two squads will be moving on to the semifinals? Let the mock battle begin. Tantrum trying to drive around and find an angle. But Cobalt tracking it, Chris, keeping that killer weapon pointed forward. Here comes Cobalt. Oh, a little gyro there. Uh oh, all right, Tantrum wins the first battle. Oh. Gets Cobalt right into the corner. Good job. Flirting with the front of Cobalt here, playing a dangerous game, but now chewing away at those front forks, Chris. That punching disc able to deliver shots and then retract backward and out of harm's way. Great work so far by Dylan Carey, the outstanding young driver of Team Tantrum. Using Tantrum speed very effectively and winning the ground battle so far. Good call, Kenny. Tantrum able to get underneath once again. We know Cobalt has one-shot knockout power, though, Chris. Tantrum has to keep the pressure on here. One mistake, and this fight could be over in a hurry. Well, Cobalt trying to keep that gyroscopic motion under control. Doesn't want to give Tantrum any opening. Matt Maxim, an experienced driver, but not on this road until this tournament. And now Tantrum is under Cobalt. Uh -oh. Tantrum is got Cobalt. Goodness. 
In the final matchup of the night, Hypershock was pitted against the insanely kinetic full-body spinner Gigabyte, led by John Maladnik. When you see a legend like Gigabyte, you know that they have years of experience behind them, years of fine-tuning what they do. They're like the top shell spinner in the game. It's amazing what it can dish out and what it can take. Holy smokes! We were really worried coming into that fight because he was just destroying everybody. And we knew we had to get to the sides of him to beat him. And I knew if we didn't that we were in trouble. Let the bot battle begin. A box rush out of hyper shot. Oh! Wow! Oh my gosh! I, I went right at him and then kind of did a, a 180 and hit him on the backside and shot him right across the arena. They're still moving, which is again. Uh, amazing. My goodness, somehow Hypershock still running, and so do his gigabyte. Whoa! The thing is, you can't outdrive Will Bales, and his robot's faster, it's more maneuverable. <laughs> oh my gosh! They got out, they started spinning up again. How tough is Gigabyte? And look at Hypershock, might be feeling it here, Chris. It's just kind of crab walking now. So all of a sudden, the throttle on my, uh, on my transmitter uh, was now steering, and the steering wheel was now throttle. And he's having a little driving problem. At that point, I thought we could do this. We could get a side hit on him. With Hypershock struggling to move after dominating the fight, it looked like history was going to repeat itself. But eventually, I figure out what's going on, and I'm like, oh, I know Kung Fu. And then I turned around, and I told Kyle, all right, time for full beans, and floored it right into him. And Hypershock is down! I know Gigabyte's been to shell a time or two before. This wasn't that. The thing that Hypershock broke on us is something that's never broke before. I've been doing this since 2001. So he hit it so hard that the eight bolts that holds the shell onto the pulley, those eight bolts pulled out of their taps. I mean, they stripped right through the aluminum. And that's eight of them, not, not just one or two. I just remember that shell popping up, floating over the arena, coming back down and still going. Probably parts of the robot going in opposite directions, mid-air. It was pretty incredible. The head's on one end, the body's on the other. You have the height, right? That height component to the head, just flying through the air and bouncing all over. The shell coming off, the robot splitting in half. So John's still messing with the controls. Why is he doing that? Oh, his face. Hypershock came back to life. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at Team Hypershock. They cannot believe what just happened. We thought we had a chance to win, but we didn't think that was going to happen. It's nuts. Like, it's the biggest hit I've ever seen.